So this is Aditya and today I'm going to share with you a method by which you can find almost anyone's email ID for free using some guesswork and some tools. Now this method was originally developed by Rob Ausby of Distil, thanks to him. Uh, the tool that Rob used was called Rapidive, but Rapidive is not as efficient as it was before uh, since it was acquired by LinkedIn. Now I will be using a plugin called Full Contact and it works pretty much the same like Rapidive. So without further ado, let's get right to email hunting. Now we will be using three tools for this. Now the first is a Chrome plugin called Full Contact, as I mentioned earlier. Now, this is the plugin. The Full Contact is a handy plugin that shows the email address. Um, when you enter an email address into the address bar, Full Contact shows up the social profile's link to with that email address. As you can see, uh, I just entered my personal email address and I can see my Twitter cloud accounts uh, in the full contact user interface. Now, um, now the idea here is that if you are able to guess the right email ID of a person somehow, full contact will show up their social profiles thus confirming that what we entered is the original email ID of that person. Now the second tool that we use is an email permutator spreadsheet uh, courtesy again of Rob. Now what this does is we enter the first name, uh, the last name of a person uh, and there is an also an option to enter the middle name and the domain name where that person is likely to have his email address. And now the sheet produces a list of all the email IDs using several combinations of the first, middle, last and domain names uh, which we can use for the guesswork. Now the third tool is an alternative to this spreadsheet uh, which is a tool called um, the email address guesser. Uh, this works similarly, you enter a first and last name and a domain name and it gives you a combination of these three. Now for this video I will be using just the email permutator spreadsheet. Okay so all the links uh, to all the tools mentioned uh, are below the video. Now first we create a list of all the possible email addresses using the email permutator spreadsheet. And uh, the example uh, that we will be using is the leader of the pack himself, uh, Ran Fishkin of Moss. Uh, Ran is likely to have an email ID like say uh, ran.fishkin at .com. Um, so um, what I do is I enter his first name which is Rand and uh, his last name which is Fish King and the domain name which is Moss.com into the email permitted spreadsheet and the spreadsheet automatically generates all the, a list of all the possible email addresses of Rand and we simply go and select all of this and copy it. Now I go over to the Gmail and paste it in the address box. So as you can see, now we hover over each of these email addresses and look for what appears in full contact. So um, as you can see, these, these mail addresses do not have any results, they don't bring up any social profiles. Now, what about rand at most.com? Now, as you can see, several of Rand's social profiles are showing up for this mail ID, and this confirms that rand at most.com is the official mail address of Rand Fishkin. Now, one thing to note here is that LinkedIn will often show up the LinkedIn profile of a person if they are able to associate an email address with a LinkedIn profile. Now it need not be the real email address of that person. LinkedIn will show a LinkedIn profile just if they are able to identify the person intended. So however of each of the email addresses until you find an email address for which more than one social profile shows up. Now this method works all the time if the person has used his professional email ID for his social profiles. Now again with great power comes great responsibility, so do not use this tactic for anything other than legitimate outreach reasons. And as a personal tip, might I add, do not mail an outreach target in his personal mail ID. They might get frustrated. 
So thanks a lot for listening and have a great day ahead.